This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Debug blurry sprite. What I expect it to do, shake around, blurry shaking. Okay, so this is the expectation right here, and this is what ours is doing. I can hit reset and run. Yep, it's leaving something. Run the program to see the bug. Use clues, and notice that there's no error here, and that's fine, because it doesn't always catch bugs, because it's not a technical code error, it's an us error, it's the programmer's error, I guess. Use clues to try to find the bug. Once you found it, fix the program so that it uh, turns like the image on the right. Interesting. Okay, so what's going on here? Let's look. So remember, the draw loop runs 30 times a second. So the code, or we hit run, and the program says, okay, I'm going to do this 30 times a second. All right, first save this variable blender. Done. Now, where do I want to create the blender? Oh, oh, I want to create it at 200, 200. Boom. So it makes the variable named blender. We then set the blender's animation to be the image of the blender, the animation of the blender, which is here. Keep in mind, though, if we were to change that, it would be a different name here. Okay, now what? Well, now we add the background in. The background's going to be yellow. Huh, okay, well, the background's yellow. Then what do we do? Well, then we randomize the X position of the blender, right? It's, the blender's location is going to be 200 plus negative 5 to 5. So that just takes the default, which was really originally 200, and says it's going to be 195, because 200 minus 5, to 205. Anything in between that is blender's X, and that's what we're also going to do with Y. Then we draw the sprite. We hit the bottom, and then we go zoop, back to the top, and we do all of that over again. Okay, so what is going wrong then? Well, we draw the background right here. Hmm, I would suggest you first move code around. For example, and this is not correct, I'm putting background right here. Reset run. Now, why can't we see anything? Well, because the last thing you draw now is the background. And so this runs so fast that it does draw the sprite, but it instantly covers it up. So we don't get to see what's actually going on. What if we moved it up here? Hmm, not much of a difference. So what's going on? Well, this variable blender is getting made 30 times a second. You wouldn't want to keep making a variable that often. You only need a variable once, right? So we are making a new sprite here 30 times a second. Blender, new sprite named Blender. Oh, another sprite, Blender, Blender, Blender. 30 times a second, you are making a new sprite animation. Well, a new sprite, and then you're setting the animation. There's no reason to do this inside of a draw loop. We are going to give the variable a name, right? We define it, and then we give it an animation. We're not changing the picture or anything. This isn't a property that we want up here. So this is the variable. We want the animation. It's not what we're going to be changing 30 times a second. So we should have variable and the set animation at the top of our code. Um, well, pretty much always. We'll say always variable for a sprite will be at the top. And then almost always set animation would be, unless it's like a butterfly and halfway down your code, you want it to change into a cocoon or, uh, well, I did that in reverse. But let's check this out. Boom. So now we don't create 30 blenders 30 times a second over and over and over again. We just do it once, and we just move that single blender all over the place. Cool. Onward.